Prior to the rest of the day's news now, Prime Minister John Key is admitted to a second golf game with the owner of Oroveda again at a national party event. Political editor Patrick Gower is in Shanghai where he's visited the Oroveda offices where the controversy began. Well, Oroveda's Shanghai offices are full of pictures of national party politicians in front and centre are games with its owner. Here we are at Oroveda's Shanghai offices, just dropping in to see what's caused all the political strife. There's photos of Judith Collins everywhere. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Yes, we get a cup of Shanghai. This visit wasn't pre-arranged. There's no welcoming committee and hardly anybody here. Oroveda's reclusive <laughs> owner, Stone Zhu, was in Beijing and keeping right. quiet. Right. Collins told you not to speak to us. There's scampi for looking at, but not for tasting. And as for milk, there's only one bottle in the whole place, no tasting for us today. That of course is that, well, that big donation uh, to the National Party helped get that photo. Here is Stone Shoe, the owner and founder of Oroveda, and right next to it you can see the name Peter Goodfellow, who is the president of the National Party and also has family interests in Sanford Fishing, which supply Oroveda. Here's this photo we know so well as well, isn't it, uh, Judith Collins there, that's the photo that caused all of the trouble. Now into Oroveda's meeting room, Judith Collins, she's everywhere. Here she is again with Anne Tolly and look at this up here, cutting the ribbon, cutting the ribbon Oroveda's Auckland offices. Judith, here she is with the scampi. There's that photo again, the one that caused so many problems. Now round this way, here we have it, John Key, you can see him with the owner Stone Shoe here and look at this, this is new another golf game by the looks of things. Was that a National Party event? It was, yeah, it was a Papakura event from memory. And yep. did he pay? Don't know the details of all of that. I mean, when I played golf with them, it was because I was bought in a charity event. Do you now agree that that's wrong? That... No, I can't be sure whether that's right or wrong. I don't know the particular event. I know that, that I was bought. It emerged Stone Shoe paid the National Party up to $56,500 for this round of golf. Key had previously claimed it went to a charity. Stone Shu and Julia Zhu were at a Kiwi exporters function in Beijing last night. I think we're just here to promote New Zealand and uh, I think we're off to dinner now. Because thank you. There are questions about the donation to the National Party. No, that's okay, that's not The questions about the donation to the National Party. After dinner, yet another photo with Key and the Oroveda political trouble rolls on. Well, John Key has knocked it out of the park on the trade front during this trip with coups like getting President Xi to come to New Zealand later this year. But it's all been overshadowed by the Oroveda controversy caused, of course, and her bungled handling of it since that has just raised so many questions about the connections between Oroveda and the National Party that go all the way to John Key himself. Patrick Gower, Shanghai, 3 News.